The horse industry has a $3 billion economic impact on the state of Kentucky. Yeah, let that sink in for a second. I didn't even know it was that much, and I came from the industry. I used to manage Hinkle Farms, located right down the road in Paris, Kentucky. And I know that the majority of you in here probably don't recognize her, but she's kind of a big deal to the industry. Her name is Keegan Gabrielle, and she lives at Hinkle. She's also the mom of Nyquist, the most recent Kentucky Derby winner. Now, doing this was paramount to the farm's success. They would buy mares, select stallions that match them well, breed them, get them pregnant, and then deliver gorgeous foals into the world to either be sold or run. With Seeking Gabrielle, this was easy. She got pregnant quickly. But there were other mares on this farm that just didn't do this according to plan. And we would breed these mares again and again and again, and the same outcome would happen every single time. They would not get pregnant. The weird thing about these mares, though, is that instead of seeing an embryo, we would find their uterus full of fluid. It was almost like they were irritated by the very semen that we were putting into them. Now, when I was a farm manager, I thought this was caused by bacteria getting in, and I just called these mares dirty. But I've now learned in research that they are actually having a reaction to the very sperm that we are inseminating them with, and that they suffer from a disease known as persistent breeding-induced endometritis, or PDIE. Now, because I thought this was caused by bacteria, I would pump these mares full of antibiotics, which we all know are garnering a lot of resistance and shouldn't be considered a cure-all to anything. I would also give them steroids, like dexamethasone, which is a potent anti-inflammatory, but also has effects throughout the body, including suppressing the very hormones that lead for these mares to ovulate and maintain a pregnancy. So we had to go back to the drawing board and find something better, something safer. And I think I did. Lactoferrin. Lactoferrin is a protein found throughout the body in a variety of tissues and secretions, and I saw that when I infused these mares that suffer from PBIE with lactoferrin, that it works just like dexamethasone. Lactoferrin decreases the number of neutrophils, or tiny Pac-Men, that come into the system to digest anything foreign. It also increases the level of the anti-inflammatory signaling molecules. So just like dexamethasone, it's an anti-inflammatory. But unlike dexamethasone, it's safe. So where do we go from here? I'm going to go home. I'm going to go back to the farm and use lactoferrin in place of these other treatments and see if we not only see a less irritated uterus, but more importantly, do we actually see a pregnancy? And most importantly of all, do we actually see this? A healthy foal that might just win the Kentucky Derby in three years. Thank you.